Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you what the, uh, the Wi-Fi firmware update process is like uh, with the Escort Max 360C. Uh, I just picked up another one of these a couple days ago and uh, there was an update available. Escort since released an update as I talked about recently in another video and uh, went through the update process and I wanted to show you guys what that's like. Uh, essentially, when an update is available and the detector is connected over Wi-Fi, it'll actually show up on the face of the detector and it'll prompt you whether or not you want to update the detector. Uh, if you say yes and press the volume up button, uh, it'll go ahead and download the update to your detector and start updating it. Uh, the process takes a couple minutes or so and you just kind of sit there and wait uh, as you know, like the progress bar slowly works its way across the screen or so. Um, it takes a couple minutes or so and then once that is done, uh, it'll go ahead and start uh, updating the detector and applying all the different updates. I'll show you what that's like here. And then once that's done, the detector uh, reboots itself and then it's back up and running with the new firmware update. So that's kind of cool, you know, I'm used to updating my detectors by bringing them back home, plugging them into the computer and, you know, updating with the software that way. It's kind of nice to have a detector that can uh, update itself like that over Wi-Fi. Uh, I was doing this with my uh, Wi-Fi at home. I was just sitting in a parking spot. My detector could pick up my home Wi-Fi and update it that way. So obviously that's not going to work if I'm driving around, but if I start up my car, I'm sitting there and then the detector says, oh, hey, by the way, there's a firmware update. I can do it next time I'm spending a couple minutes standing in the parking lot or if I'm in parked in my garage or something like that, you know? So kind of a nifty thing. Uh, not really that great for Wi-Fi tethering off your phone. You can do it, but it doesn't actually work all that well to have to manually enable tethering. Um, so it would work if you have Wi-Fi at home or maybe ideally if you have a Wi-Fi hotspot, like a mobile hotspot built into your car that like your phone and everything else and your detector could connect to. That's kind of what it's intended for. Um, I was using it with my home's Wi-Fi just to kind of test it out and see how it works and it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a nifty thing. I've been thinking about, uh, you know, should I maybe keep this one and sell my Max 360. I don't really need both of them. They're really similar. Uh, you know, this one has the Wi-Fi updating and a little bit smaller, which is nice for my Miata. I don't really like the silver face. I prefer having a black stealthier detector, but this one has the shiny buttons. This one has kind of silvery buttons. So I don't know. I've kind of been thinking about uh, Max 360 stuff. But anyway, I uh, just did the firmware update and uh, wanted to show you guys what that's like. So um, anyway, yeah, there you go. There's a look at the firmware update process for the Max 360C. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.